Hi everyone, uh, this is Bag of Dawn, Stock Market Caddy. It is April uh, 23rd at about uh, 10.30 and um, you're seeing something you don't usually see from us. Although we, we did do a video the other day, if you haven't seen it, it's called Fairways and Greens on how we incorporate or interpret um, some use of uh, the Bollinger Bands into our, um, our, our analysis. And if you watch that video, you know, whatever system you come up with, um, if you can come up with, you know, two, three complementing systems and then if you can have the ability and we're around to help teach folks so if you have a platform like TradeStation that you can write computer code to help you find those opportunities through you know hundreds of stocks on various time frames and literally put you into the trade um, so that um, you don't miss an opportunity that's really the other half of the battle and, uh, and back testing and forward testing so we're always available for that sort of uh, mentoring um, just give us a call anytime this is where we are right now. This is the spies on a daily. We'll take a look on the on the weekly. And what we were saying is that the ball 90% of the time is in the fairway. 10% of the time it gets outside the fairway, as you can see down here and up here. The the um, when the ball is outside the fairway, that's when we're when our interest is most peaked, no matter what it is. Um, because we know that 90% of the time the ball will come back into the fairway so it's kind of a, a countering uh, trend um, system approach but you can see here even on a daily she she closed outside reversed here's the reversal opening below that close that's it it's not enough just to close outside it's got to within two or three candles for us has got to close here's one you know she closes underneath but here she closes or she trades underneath and then closes above or gets above the high that'd be a reversal so we see it here but for tomorrow we had all this uh, noise today about Apple geez don't you love it not just their earnings uh, I think they increased the dividend I think they had a 90 billion star, uh, buyback I think they did uh, <laughs> uh, split shares you know give you two fives for a ten um, you know just just unbelievable they're doing everything they can to hold these indexes up to try to buy themselves some time um, but uh, we won't get caught up into the fundamental analysis or all the games being played. What we're eyeing is this rejection of price. This was last, um, well, it was really a, a week or two ago now. What is the date on this? Let me just give you exactly. That was on April 4th. This was the rejection of price. Down we come, um, kind of a lousy bounce, and then this engulfing. Then jam they jammed it, and, and away we go we're not we're not crystal ball folks but I wouldn't be the least bit surprised that maybe on this Apple noise uh, maybe Caterpillar I think is out in the morning maybe we do gap up tomorrow and go up and nose around up in here this last high you want to be watching what that does up here and especially if we trade up into it during the day and then reverse down and give us that reversal then you know folks we're going to be most likely gapping down and moving right back rapidly down to the other side and this lower Bollinger Band what is that 182 181 you know be about 18 19 or so thereabouts on the uh, the S&P cash if this area gets taken out we're headed back down to ultimately test that and we think we are headed there and actually much lower that's what we're looking for so tomorrow um, I think it's best in this environment where we're whipsawing back and forth not to um, certainly if we gap up don't chase that gap definitely don't and I wouldn't fade it um, tomorrow I'd let it let it go up let it do its thing uh, later in the day um, particularly after the you know the three o'clock hour they like to you know the squeeze on the shorts generally takes place right up until three o'clock if there's anyone out on margin and then uh, when that dries up a lot of times, you know, then they take it down the other side. See, this is where we want to be watching the last one or two hours of the day and try to catch this turn, get you back to the wall, and try to get a short on. If they take it up from here, good luck. They can have it. Um, but that's what we're looking at. Let me show you the, uh, the radar. This is a view of our radar on the volatility index. You can see the volatility index has just been crushed out which is just ridiculous with what's going on in the world but it is and so you know you can't fight the complacency um, 
you know, I was joking with another trader, you know, it's kind of like one of those Brazilian beaches, you know, I wouldn't be caught dead on it, you know, packed with a million people, but, you know, they all want to get in there. Um, so let them. And the, uh, the ES, uh, the daily is now in a flat position. And, um, you know, they have, you know, the bulls have fought back. We're going to be watching this very closely during the next few days, looking for a, um, a reversal of uh, sentiment. And um, and there you have it. We still have on the longer terms, you know, this these stall indicators. So uh, we're still of a mindset that this thing is going to stall out here. But um, let's see what happens, particularly as we get up toward that upper Bollinger or that upper high. Good luck. Be careful. Oh, by the way, we're toying with the idea. There's a cost associated with this. They got these things called u streaming. And we're tempted to Ustream our, um, our radar with all of these signals so that you could patch in and see the signals, choose the time frame that you want, and watch them. You know, you could be watching them with us during the course of any uh, given day. Just patch in, whether it be on your phone or on your computer. There is a cost. Um, you know, I'm not sure about the logistics you know of how much talking we could do how much opportunity but we could tell you what they are and see we can do the same thing with um, um, you know different portions of the day it could show you what different stocks are doing so that you can have an opportunity you have to let us know if um, if that's something that interests people please let us know in your email that it would we would have to have some sort of um, it would have to be a subscription because there is a cost for that bandwidth and um, we're thinking that if it was something that you could just patch in and, and you could see the signals that we're seeing and not monitoring it, um, you know, it would be, you know, eight hours a day, every day, um, you know, something in the neighborhood of about $75 a month. Um, the, the folks that are subscribing to us for the, you know, getting the videos every night, they're getting a full-blown analysis from us and they're getting specific opportunities. Um, we, if we did that, we probably would, we would include that with their, um, with their membership. But for other folks, if that's just too much, our, um, the videos that we do here each and every night, which I understand, but you want to get access to this, um, to know what the markets are doing, you know, maybe that would be something of interest. So you have to let us know and, um, be in touch. Good luck everybody tomorrow.